Hello, I'm Matt Griffin with this EPS Inspires update. As we already know, the coronavirus has limited our ability to be together in person, and that's creating a unique challenge for our theater programs, preventing students from performing together on stage. But the Shahela Middle School Drama Club is just one of our theater programs that has risen to the challenge with a brand new holiday play. Hello, girls. Did you receive those sugar cookies I sent down to the mailroom earlier this week? Without giving too much of the plot away, To Mrs. Claus is a story about Mrs. Claus gathering her elves together, in a sign of the times, for a Zoom meeting to tackle a holiday problem. The director and several members of Shahela's Drama Club joined me on Zoom to talk about the play. I asked Audrey McChesney, who plays Mrs. Claus, what she thought was the most challenging part of performing a play all online. Probably like the tech, um, the tech aspect of it, um, and just um, trying to figure out like what everything was and like what the controls were. Like I'm just like an old grandma, <laughs> just when it comes to um, like technology, I can't I can't use technology, so um, it it was kind of hard. But like that's the only thing that was um, that was difficult. Xander Vogel plays an elf named Buddy, who happens to share a name with the Buddy the Elf you may already be familiar with. What kind of pressure did you guys feel like you were under to get that to get the perfect take right? I feel like there wasn't much pressure since we explained um, how if it was it was okay that we messed up because everything has been having troubles with this whole virtual thing. And with plenty of new experience tackling tech troubles, these middle schoolers know how to troubleshoot on the fly. What was the most challenging part for you? Um, I guess just trying not to mess up because as soon as Xander started saying his lines for scene three, I just like froze and forgot all my lines, but luckily I had like a backup next to me and I reread the scene. Shahela's drama director, Marlena Trujillo, gives all the credit to students not shying away from a new challenge. And I think the whole trying something new aspect, I mean, this is new for all of us. I was working with some new actors, some seasoned veterans, and uh, just figuring out the tech, figuring out how to do a virtual play because it's, it's really new. Um, that, was, that was very challenging, but the kids were you know, right there with me and we figured it out together. They supplied some ideas for the tech and um, yeah, it was very much a team effort. And in typical fashion, here's what happened when I tried to have the director and members of the cast wish everyone happy holidays. Okay, three, two, one. Happy holidays. Oh, oh, let's oh, every, everybody on mute. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. that. <laughs> Look at That's that. the We're... same type of tech issues we've been oh, having. I... All right. One, one more time. Three, two, one. Happy, ho Happy holidays. Perfect. And now, without any further ado, the Shahela Middle School Drama Club presents To Mrs. Claus. My goodness, I wonder if this is true. Could it be possible that, buddy? Yes, Mrs. C? Buddy, I was just looking over my to-do list and I definitely need to check with you on some items. Absolutely, as your PEA, I'm always here to help, Mrs. C. Pardon me, my PEA? Yes, PEA, personal alpha assistant. Oh dear. I thought you were just called my secretary. Oh, no, 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 Mrs. C. The term changed last week from Elven Secretarial Help to Personal Elf Assistant. Unless, of course, you'd prefer to call me your CCC. CCC? Christmas Collaborative Colleague. No, my PTA is just fine. Let's get back to my to-do list, shall we? 
I need to know if all the sugar cookie ornaments have been frosted for the tree in the main courtyard. Yes, ma'am. Have, have we polished all the reindeer bells and oiled all the leather harnesses? Finished yesterday. Have the wreaths been hung on the workshop doors? How about the twinkle lights? Have, it, have they been strung in the Grand Elf Ballroom? Check, check. And have Santa's toothbrush, wool scarf, and extra pair of gloves been packed in the sled? Done. Really? Well, then I can't believe it. What's that, Mr. C? I'm done. Done? Done, buddy. It's a whole week before Christmas, and I've checked off every single item. Well, Mrs. C, congratulations. <laughs> Can you believe it, buddy? I don't think this has ever happened in the history of the North Pole. I'm sure you're correct. I've never found myself with even a moment to spare until it's the stroke of midnight on Christmas Eve. I think I'll brew myself a cup of tea, put my feet up, and... Answer your email. I beg your pardon? What did you say? Answer your email, Mrs. C. I'm sorry, but at this very moment, there are thousands and thousands of messages sitting in the North Pole inbox with your name on them. My name? But I don't understand. Everyone writes to Santa. I never get any emails. Well, Mrs. C, it looks like there are a lot of kids who have written to you this year because, well, they feel like they haven't gotten a straight answer from the big guy himself. Really? Oh, yes. And some of these uh, emails, well, they have some downright difficult questions. Well, then, this will have to be the last thing on my to-do list. Answering my emails. It shouldn't take that long, right? Um, right. But maybe you should talk to IT, just in case. Buford! We need you on this video conference now! It's about Mrs. Claus's emails! Yo, buddy. Mrs. Claus's emails, you say? Yep, I've got them right here. Lots of them. Oh, dear. How many? Let's just say you've got more emails than the North Pole's got Christmas cookies. Now, don't panic, Mrs. C. We're here for you. It looks like the North Pole ID department has helped us out and organized the emails into folders. Folders? Yep, they filed some of our messages together. Well, I suppose that will help. I just thought a steaming cup of peppermint tea and a shortbread cookie sounded so, lo so lovely right about now. Yo, Mrs. Claus, I don't mean to be rude, but I need some time to look super fly for the, bi for the big elf office party tonight, if you know what I mean. Oh, of course, Buford. You go right ahead and get that fly. Yo, buddy, you're going to be there tonight, right? Of course, bro. Cool, dude. Catch you later. All right, my dear little P-O-O, -O. oh, no, P-C-C. -C. Oh, never mind. Let's just tackle this first batch. Buddy, will you help me look through these emails? Well, it looks like in this folder, they're all asking something along the lines of, Dear Mrs. Claus, why didn't I get the fill in the blank I asked Santa for last year? Fill in the blank? What's that? You know, fill in the blank can be just about anything. Well, let me know the specifics. What exactly are these children asking for? Let me see. A herd of Shetland ponies, a fighter plane, a roller coaster, a construction crane, a giant python, and the case of this little boy, a girlfriend. Oh dear. So, Mrs. C, how'd you like to reply? Well, I'm not sure. Do you suppose the IT managers might be able to give us some advice? Good idea. They're the ones who filed them, after all. They're online now. Should I bring them on? Please. Belinda! Bonnie! What can I help you with? Yes? Hello, girls. Did you receive the sugar cookies I sent down to the mail room earlier this week? Oh, yes, Missy. Thank you. They were delicious. I think I ate a dozen of them. Funny. Well, that explains the crumbs in the box, so I went back for a second one. Is there something you needed, Mrs. C? Oh, yes, Belinda. There is, actually. How do you think I should respond to a child who didn't get something they asked for? Something rather impossible in their last email to Santa. Well, those emails have always created a sticky situation for us. 
very sticky, like a wet candy cane in your coat pocket. So what exactly do you do when a child's written for something that Santa can't possibly deliver? Well, we've always had to uh, file those messages away. Then we pretend they got erased. Santa does his best, but he can't possibly please everyone all the time. And as we elves like to say, you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. I see. And I imagine there are quite a few emails like this from children every year. Millions, Missy. We file them away on a hard drive for a while, and then... We delete them, dragged into the trash, and erased forever. Oh, dear. What do you want to do, Mrs. C? Well, I think the only thing that we can do is send out a form letter that provides an answer while not really answering anything. Thank you, Belinda. Bunny? Hey, buddy, you're coming to the elf office bash later, aren't you? Absolutely. Meet you under the mistletoe. Catch you sugar cookies later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, write this down. Absolutely, Mrs. C. I'm ready. Dear darling child, we are terribly sorry you did not receive your fill in the blank. Please understand that your letter of concern has been considered and has now been passed on to the appropriate department. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Love, Mrs. Claus. Good work, Mrs. C. Short, sweet, and a nice version of the truth. Thank you. What's next? All right. The next folder of emails ask, Dear Mrs. Claus, how does Santa know where every kid lives? Oh dear, I wonder if I can answer this. Well, you might not be able to, but I know some elves in the telecommunication and navigation department who can. Oh, of course, Bill and Bob. I just sent them a tin of peppermint sandwich cookies. Let's bring them on. Bill! Bob! Jump on this conference call, will ya? hi yo. Yep, yep, copy that. that. Bill, Bill, Bob, Bob it's awfully nice to see you. I have a question for you, too. Is it possible to know, for Santa to know where every child in the world lives? You bet. We've talked home enough. I've always stayed on cutting edge technology, including our latest and greatest system, the SGPS. The SGPS? That's right, the Santa Global Positioning System. Big guy has a pretty sophisticated setup in a sleigh at this point. Yep, he's got a global address list, topographic maps, and a satellite tracker with infrared imaging. Pretty much everything you need to find anyone, anywhere. In the past, he had to use a lot of gas station with maps. And he pulled a sleigh over an awful lot to ask for directions. Oh dear. But now, with the SGPS, all those problems are solved. All he needs now is the app. Modern technology saves the day! Well, you two have answered my question. Thank you. We at Telecommunication and Navigation are happy to help. Hey buddy, we'll see you at the Shindig later, right? They're bringing the tins? Copy that. Alright, we'll set up the taboo you like last year. Yep, and we know you'll need the disco ball. So, we're taking care of that, too. That's a 10-4, fellas. Thanks. All right, buddy. Write this down. Dear darling child, you have nothing to worry about in regards to Santa knowing where you live. He has a system that NASA themselves would envy. And if that were to fail, well, Santa has his ways. Love, Mrs. Claus. Excellent, Mrs. Claus. Again, a fine piece of communication. Thank you, buddy. Do you need a break, Mrs. C? Well, that's tempting, buddy, but I fear we're on a roll now. We should push through a few more. All right, you're the boss. Let's see. The emails in this next folder are all asking about Santa's health. His health? Oh, yes, and I have to say, some of them aren't too tactful. Read an example. Dear Mrs. Claus, is Santa too fat? Will he fit down my chimney? Oh, dear. You're right. They're not very subtle, are they? But I know just who to ask about this. 
Me too. Shall I bring them on? Yes, but wait just a moment. All right, go ahead. Bambi! Brenda! Join this conference call, will ya? Hello, girls. And how are Santa's personal trainers doing on this fine December day? Terrific. I just finished a new online Jingle Bell aerobics class. And I'm planning a nutrition webinar on red and green vegetables for all the elves next week. That sounds wonderful. And Santa, how do you feel he's been doing lately? Well, it's always tough for him to squeeze in an online exercise this time of year, but we're managing to keep him on a schedule. And what schedule would that be? Well, he begins first thing in the morning with some yoga sun salutations, and then he's on his own for a quick jog around the toy workshops. Then I fix him a cranberry protein power smoothie and deliver it right to him. After that, he lifts weights, full toy bags, 10 sets, 15 reps each. He's not big on vegetables, but I can coax him to eat a salad with lunch if I promise him a candy cane after. After lunch, he spends some time on the rock wall practicing his chimney climbing skills. Then dinner is a healthy balance of protein, fiber, and carbs. By the way, Mrs. C, you remember what we talked about, don't you? In regards to Santa's cookie consumption? Well, yes, but I have to confess, after dinner, he just loves a little something sweet. How many cookies might that be? Oh, just, 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 just two. What was that? Just two dozen or so. <gasps> two dozen? This is C. Oh dear, I know, I know, but it's just so unfair. He's inherited such a slow metabolism, and he's been under so much stress lately with the holidays, and everyone knows he's big boned, and the fact is that very few people can look slim in the color red. You know what this means, Bambi. More cardio fit it into his schedule. Thank you, girls. No problem, Mrs. C. And thank you so much for those low-fat oatmeal raisin cookies you sent to the North Pole gym the other day. You're welcome. Were they better than the tofu macarons I made for you last year? I have to say, yes. I do agree. Oatmeal raisin cookies are delicious, but those macaroons offered so much more protein. Oh, please, Brenda. If you're going to have a cookie, why not just have something really delicious? Let yourself get a little out of control once in a while. Speaking of out of control, you're going to be at the elf festivities later, right, buddy? Who? Me. Oh, yeah. I'll be there and ready to burn some calories. All right, buddy. Ready to answer this email? I'm here for you, boss. Here we go, then. Dear darling child, Santa is certainly plump, and there's no denying that. But never fear that he is unfit for his job. You can rest assured that Santa is in excellent condition for his age, and we here at the North Pole consider his health a top priority. Love, Mrs. Claus. Done. Excellent. I need a cookie. Ahem. You have the cookie jar right there with you. So is that really true? That whole business about the color red making anyone look, well, oversized? Definitely. And like Santa, I too seem to wear an awful lot of it. Speaking of clothes, there's a folder of emails asking about Santa's outfit. Really? Here's one that sums them up. Dear Mrs. Claus, why does Santa dress up in a red suit? Has he always worn the same thing? Oh, this is a much easier set of questions. For sure. Shall I bring on wardrobe? Please. Bernice! Babette! We need you online here! Bonjour! Oh. Oh, Madame Claus, I'm loving that crystal top on you. You're the belle of the ball today. Wouldn't you agree, Bernice? Oui, she is magnifique. Oh, this old thing? It's just something I pulled out of the back of my closet. 
but it's wonderful. I love the whole look with the muff. Very chic. Mrs. C, wasn't this something you were going to ask Bernice from my bat? Yes, Madam Claus. Are you in need of a wardrobe consultation? Something you need hemming, perhaps? Shall we find you a glittery little accessories for the holidays? Um, no, 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 no. Nothing like that. I just need to know where this, the inspiration for Santa's suit came from. Oh, well that is a very, very long story, but we shall tell you the short and sweet version. Several centuries ago, an artist who is clearly a fashion genius extraordinaire decided to draw the figure of Santa in a red robe, stocking hat, and boots. And voila, Santa has appeared in this handsome costume design for centuries. Details and accessories have changed over time, depending upon the fashion of the day, of course. But the basic ensemble has stayed the same. One day you must visit us in the Rodo department, Madam Claus, and produce our lovely collection of historic Santa suits we have in storage. We, oui. Santa's worn everything from a fringed pashmina to fur-lined pantaloons. One year we considered dressing him in red bell bottoms and a tie-dye coat. But alas, the outfit was not flattering. Yes, that's understandable. But red will always be Santa's color. He's a winter, you know. A winter? We, oui. everyone has a seasonal palette of colors that are most flattering. For example, Madame Claus, you're a gorgeous spring. Wouldn't you agree, Bebe? We, oui, Bernice, she was born to wear bright green. Not many are. Do you really think so? Because I have this emerald colored scarf that I never wear and- Mrs. C, are we done here? Do you have the information you need to answer the letters? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, girls. It's always such a pleasure to see you. Did you receive the French medal and cookies I sent over a few days ago? Oh, we did, and we offer you a most heartfelt mercy. We, oui, those cookies were exquisite, soft and buttery, in the delicate sleep shape. The perfect thing with a cup of tea. Madam Claus, you are a marvel. Oh, well, you do flatter me, so maybe you can have a girl's luncheon soon. We, oui. But of course. Ah, merci, buddy. I almost forget to tell you, we have finished putting the final touches on your outfit tonight's social occasion. Has the certain genesis quality you asked for. Fantastic. Doodaloo. Au revoir. Au revoir. Mrs. C, I'm ready. Yes, back to business. Here's how we'll answer. Dear darling child, Santa's outfit has definitely changed over time, but this design has always taken his comfort into consideration while encouraging him to make a strong fashion statement. A way we should all dress, I think. Love, Mrs. Claus. Well said, Mrs. C. I like your style. Merci. So, what's next, buddy? Well, I hate to say it, but we need to move on to a more serious set of questions. Serious? As in unhappy? As in technical. Oh dear. What's the theme? Dear Mrs. Claus, how do Santa's reindeer really fly? Oh dear. That is serious. I warned you. And you know who we have to call in, don't you? Oh dear. Do we have to? It's the only way we'll know. But I just never understand what he's talking about. Well, they're going to have to try in order to answer these letters. Shall I? We must. We must. Oh, party! Video call! Yes, may I help you? Hey there, buddy boy. Since you're head of reindeer flight design, we have a question for you. Mrs. C? Yes, Bartholomew. I have to ask you about... I mean, I should know. Well, maybe you could tell me exactly how Santa's reindeer fly. Exactly? Yes, I'm afraid so. Well, Mrs. Claus, I'm very pleased to explain it to you. I'll already show you this diagram. All right, Bartholomew, please go ahead. Only 
slowly? Yes, of course. The first point to understand is that all of Santa's reindeer possess the very rare Xmas chromosome, which is a gene that predisposes them for flight. We engineers in the reindeer flight design department assist them further in achieving liftoff by fitting them with a custom harness powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. This, pe this specialized piece of equipment is used in remote this specialized piece of equipment is used in combination with reverse osmosis side thrusters, a set of air power propellers, and an emergency commuter valve, all of which ensure speed and safety while in the air. In the event of a water landing, we've included a nationally inflated PFD that wraps around the girth, as you can see here. Given the factors of wind current and inclement weather, we prefer to set of nostril blasters, which provide- Oh, no, that was so informative. I understand perfectly. But- I haven't finished explaining how- Oh no, Bartholomew, I'm sure you weren't planning on wasting your precious time today answering lots of questions about reindeer flight. But, Mrs. Claus, you are in fact the first person outside of- And at this point, I simply trust you're doing a magnificent job. Well, thank you, but wouldn't you like to see some of the other diagrams? Oh, there's no need. You don't have to tell me anything but whether the Linzer cookies I sent over to your department arrived in one piece. They did. Thank you. I must say, I enjoyed the nutty overtones of the cookie combined with the fruity sweetness of the cherry filling. Oh, I'm so pleased you like them. Would you like the recipe? I'm happy to send a copy. Oh, well, I don't know. Is it complicated? I'm afraid it is. Just like getting reindeer to fly. So how about you focus on your complexities and I can just make them for you again next year. That sounds quite acceptable. I believe you're doing an excellent job in the kitchen, Mrs. C. Well then, we're each in our own perfect department, aren't we? Indubitably. Thank you for your time, Bartholomew. Please tell the reindeer to look for the peanut butter biscotti I sent over to the barn yesterday. I will, but before I depart, I had an inquiry for Bubby. What's up, Bartimart? I suspect you might be unveiling another deluxe fireworks package during tonight's celebration. Am I right? You are correct. Well then, this year I'll make sure a fire extinguisher is ready and available. Yeah. Good idea. I'm not going to ask. Mrs. Claus, buddy. Mrs. C. Are you ready to answer the side of letters? Did you understand what Bartholomew explained? Perfectly. Dear darling child, the answer to how Santa's reindeer fly is really quite simple. Christmas magic. Love, Mrs. Claus. We're making pretty great progress, Mrs. Steve. Oh, thank goodness. Do you suppose we could finally take a tea break? Well, we could, but that would just put us behind. You better keep going, then. That's the spirit. The next bunch of emails addresses another somewhat technical question. Oh, dear. What's that? Dear Mrs. Claus, how did Santa get his job done in one night? Well, if they know anything about world geography, then they know that Santa can travel back through, through the time zones, right? Right. So that he's always gaining an hour and eventually a whole day, correct? Correct but we better consider getting some details from his pit crew. Yes? Yes. Bring them on. Buster! Barry! Barney! Yeah, what's up? Oh, good afternoon, boss. Howdy. Good to see you, Missy. Hello, fellas. And how are things going for Santa's pit crew? Pretty good, Mrs. Claus. Looks like we'll have some fine weather for the big night. Good. Good. And the chocolate thumbprint cookies, you got those all right? Yes, ma'am. They were mm -mm good. Hey, I didn't see no hide nor hair of no thumbprint cookies. Buster, did you eat them all? So what you're talking about. So you guys are pretty busy on Christmas Eve, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Because as I understand it, Santa actually comes back to the North Pole many, many times, doesn't he? He makes 365 round trips, ma'am. Gets a year's work done in one night, you might say. And what exactly do all of you do when Santa pulls into the pit? Well, ma'am, I do the sleigh runners, scrape the windshield, and check in with Santa on any emergency repairs. 
I look over the reindeer and realize the sleigh with toys from the production department. And I refill Santa's thermos of hot chocolate. I know you do a fine job, fellas. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So, about how long is a pit stop for Santa? A record time is 3.65 seconds, ma'am. Oh my, I'm sure NASCAR would love to talk to you three. I'm sure they would, but we're loyal to the big guy. Oh, of course, thank you. Aren't you going to ask Buddy something? All the other elves have been talking about an office party happening later. Are you three going to go? No, ma'am, I don't think so. We don't hang out with those elves too much. You don't? Nah, we don't really fit in with that crowd, if you know what I mean. Not everyone appreciates the smell of grease and reindeer manure. I know, fellas. You want to come up? I know some sweet gals from the mailroom I can introduce you to. Are you talking about that one with the pretty smile and her two friends? Oh, yeah. Yowza. Yowza. All right, fellas. We need to get back to work. See you later at the party. All right, buddy, here's my reply. Dear darling child, it's with a lot of help that Santa is able to make all of his deliveries in one night. Behind every great man is a team of great people. Love, Mrs. Claus. Oh, buddy, should I have another cookie? Absolutely. All right, I think I'm ready for the next folder. Let's see here. Every email in this folder seems to have been written by a very particular type of child. And what type would that be? The sneaky type. Oh dear. Read on. Dear Mrs. Claus, how does Santa really know if I've been naughty or nice? You know we can't tell them the truth. Definitely not. The whole system would break down. Right. They can never, ever, ever find out about... Shh! Be careful, Miss C. Yes, buddy. You're right. <laughs> we need to be very careful. But I need to talk to you-know-who about you-know-what. Really? Yes. You're sure? Oh, yes. You know they don't like to video conference for fear that someone will find out their locations. <sighs> buddy... I have a very, very important question for them. And if you haven't noticed the name on my screen, it says Mrs. Claus. If I have to pull rank, I will. Fine, fine. I'm with the PEA. I just do what I'm told. But we can't even be sure they'll answer. S, 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 S. Hello? Are you there? Who's to say we haven't been here the whole time? Okay. Well, Mrs. Claus has a question. Will you show yourselves? What's he doing? Checking. Checking for what? Shh. Okay. We, apo we apologize, Mrs. Claus. Just a routine sweep. A sweep? For what, may I ask? Bugs, viruses, hackers, zoom bombers. Really? Children are pretty technologically skillful these days, Miss Claus. They'll do anything to find out the secrets of the North Pole, and now they'll do it from the comfort of their own home. It's nothing like what happened at the crisis of 08. What was that? We found one in the sleigh. A child managed to sneak aboard Santa's sleigh. Affirmative. And the paperwork afterwards was a nightmare for a good nine months. You can imagine how hard it would be now with online records, passwords, IP addresses. It would take the IT department years to recover if the North Pole database was hacked. Santa's secret spy service we have a reputation to protect. We're excellent at what we do, but it must remain top secret that... Yes? We're not perfect. And what about the child? What happened to them? 
That's confidential. Let's just say he's off the list. Which list? All of them. Oh, dear. So, Mrs. Claus, I can't promise you any answers, but did you have a question? Oh, yes, yes, I did. I know that the SSSS elves are stationed all around the world, and you report back to Santa on to what you observe as to who has been naughty and to who has been nice. And, considering that you know everything and uh, what everyone is up to, I have a very, very important question. Yes? <sighs> what is Santa getting me for Christmas? That's confidential. But I just can't stand the suspense any longer. I've checked in all of his usual hiding places, under the sleigh cushions, out in the reindeer barn, in his underwear drawer, and I just can't find anything. I know you know. If we told you, Mrs. Claus, we'd be forced to tie you up with a tinsel for the remainder of the holiday. And Santa would demote us to security in the gift wrapping department. You're sure you can't tell me? You can't even give me an antsy, weensy little bit of hint. Well, fine. Was there anything else, Miss Claus? No, that's it. Oh, wait, did you find the ginger snap cookies I sent to your post office box? Oh, yes, thank you. They were delicious. But I'm afraid we have to tell you something. You were a security risk. Really? Too noisy. I bit into one of them, and I almost blew my cover in Paris. Oh, dear. I'm very sorry about that. Next time, I can make you a quieter cookie. How about a batch of marshmallow fluff bars? Too sticky. Our equipment would be a mess. Powdered snowballs. Too many fingerprints on our laptops. Double coconut drop cookies. Too much of a trail. Hmm. How about some unfrosted, chewy, bite-sized fig bars? Perfect. Speaking of perfect, buddy, should we set up the video equipment again tonight for your dance routine? Hey, I didn't know you guys got last years on film. We get everything on film. I want a copy of that. Get online, it's still on the top, it's on YouTube. Yes! Thank you, Santa Spies, and good luck. Your secrets will stay safe with us. So, Mrs. Claus, how do you want to respond? Dear darling child, I'm afraid it's extremely top secret how Santa knows whether you've been naughty or nice. So, a word of advice. Be good, and you won't have to worry about it. Love, Mrs. Claus. Perfect. I thought so. I have good news, Mrs. C. I can have another cookie? Yes, but that wasn't the good news. We only have one email left to answer. Really? Just one? That's terrific. Yep. And there are really no other emails like it, so it's in the folder all by itself. It must be pretty unique, then. Definitely. All of the other children wrote to you about their concerns. Things they wanted to know for their own benefit. But this one has Santa's best interests in mind. How refreshing. Please, read it to me. Dear Mrs. Claus, I love Santa and I want to bake him something he'll really like on Christmas Eve. What is his favorite cookie? Well, finally, an email I can answer all on my own without any help from anyone. Excellent. Lay it on me. Dear darling child, thank you for thinking of our dear Santa. His number one favorite cookie is a good old-fashioned gingerbread man with a glass of milk. Love, Mrs. Claus. Done. Done? Really? Done. Well, you know what this means, buddy. That's quite in time I can head to the party and dunk Brognard in the eggnog like I did last year. Well, that's not exactly what I was going to say, but yes, buddy, you're done for today. Thank you for all your help. Please, go enjoy yourself. Oh, no need to worry about that, Mrs. C. If there's one thing this PEA knows how to do, it's how to have a good time. Hmm, something tells me he does know how to have a good time. Well, I can't believe it. 
I'm finally officially done. Now's the time I can relax, put my feet up, brew myself that lovely cup of peppermint. Oh, 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 my dear, dear Mrs. Claus, do you have time to help me with some things on my to-do list? Oh dear, 